Hey, JQ, uh, how do you turn this around, man? I, I know you guys are trying, but how do you, what do you do to turn it around? I think it's going to come down to um, us getting tired of this feeling. Um, us truly coming together as a unit. Um, I'm hoping that this this thing makes us stronger and brings us closer together. I really am. Um, you know, I know coach takes a lot, a lot of heat, a lot of the responsibility, but I got to take some responsibility for this, this streak that we're going on. Me being a point guard, um, me being as old as I am, me being um, one of the most seasoned guys on the team, um, you know, kind of not getting through to my teammates. Um, you know, I got to take some responsibility for what's going on. It's not all on coach. Um, he gives us the opportunity to be a player-led team. And right now, you could tell we're just not cohesive. Johan, you obviously just addressed that part there in terms of taking self-responsibility. But what what else has changed um, since that stretch where you guys were beating nationally ranked teams like one after another versus not just the last four games, but but even going back a little bit when you guys were having to to you know get buzzer beaters just to get get past teams. What what's what's different? What's changed for the worse? You know, it's hard to say. Um, I think it's the defense because um, I feel like we can score well enough. Um, we got enough weapons on the team. We're gonna score the ball. Um, you know, regardless, I think it's. Uh, the way we're guarding, it's just not good enough. And um, we had some some flashes in the non-conference of us playing some really good defense, but we haven't been able to put it all together. Um, the communication's not there. Um, we're just not together, and and it shows. That's that's what I would say. I don't think it's anything offensive. Is that is that more technical or is that more philosophy? Um, I don't. I can't really say. I, I don't know. Uh, JQ, Coach Hardaway described the first half as something that he never thought he would see. What was the mindset going on as it's as it's happening? I mean, 22 points is a season low and a half for you guys. Heads down, going into the locker room, what was going on that whole first half? Um, we were just uh, – obviously, offense was – the was we didn't, score the, we didn't score well in the first half, but – uh, we were still talking about defense because we feel like that's that's our big um, deficiency right now. So that was kind of the mindset going in. How are we going to guard some of these actions? Um, we knew that we would start to put the ball in the basket a little bit more, um, but we've been trying to focus on defense. This is for Nick. Um, Nick, every time you see you, you're around your teammates, you're corralling the guys, and um, during this tough stretch, what is it like to, you know, you guys are older, what is it like to kind of try to keep this locker room together and make sure um, no one starts pointing the finger uh, and just try to stay cohesive? Um, It's not really tough. We have a really good group of guys. Everyone's a good person. On the court, everyone gets emotional, but we, we're really figuring each other out. And like JQ said, I think we just got to keep learning and growing from this, and that's something we're learning is how to – Talk to talk to each other when we're in those moments and when we're going through these rough patches. So it's it, it's an experience, but it's it's nothing too hard. Like I said, we're all we're all good people. Everyone's easy to communicate with and get across. But we just got to figure it all out. Uh, Javon or, or Nicholas or both. Um, obviously, Penny's made a lot of chemistry issues or locker room problems, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and, and Malcolm talked about it last game. How much of that? is the cause of what we're seeing on the court? And what does he mean by locker room problems? What's going on, in y'all's opinion? I don't really think it's locker room issues. Um, I really don't. I think um, we're just not together um, on the court. All the way up into the court, until we get on the floor, though, we're, we're, we're together. It's like, once we get out there, it's kind of like, you know, it's a lot going on. So I feel like guys don't respond well to criticism, not criticism, constructive criticism, I mean. Um, 
I think that's one of the biggest issues, um, just being able to talk to your teammate while you're under duress on the floor and not get a reaction out of them. I think that's probably one of the, the issues that coach may be speaking, be, may be talking about. Yeah, like he just said, there's, there's a, I don't think I agree with him on that. And that's why I was pointing out earlier is we're just learning how to communicate with each other on the court because there's a lot of emotions flaring, a lot going on. And each individual person is different. Each individual person wants to be a, addressed a different way. So, Going off of those last two questions, what are y'all telling each other in practice leading up to this game and then after the game? What's the message to each other? I'm just trying to get the guys to stay together. Um, this is tough. This is very tough. I mean, I don't, I, I don't remember ever going through something like this as long as I've been in school. Um, so this is um, you know, new for me as well. Um, but I'm telling the guys, you know, stay off social media. Um, and I, like, like I said before, like, it's, it's either we're going to get tired of feeling like this and do something about it, or it's going to keep happening. So, but, you know, I'm just hoping that um, this is, you know, we're going to say enough is enough and really come together as a unit, not only off the floor, but even when we we're at war and and facing adversity on the floor. Javon, you've been through the whole starting, not starting thing. And I know a lot of people think that's kind of highly overrated anyway. I mean, it's who finishes, not not who starts. But what? how did you take that? And, and is there any good that can come out of that down the stretch? Um, you know, not starting was never important to me. I played a role like like that um, at my previous school, and I thrived. I thrived in it. Um, it was never really important to me who started the game, like you said, who finishes is most important. Um, Coach P wanted to switch switch things up, and I was all for it. I said, you know, I don't mind. Whatever you decide to do, I'm with you, and it is what it is. Um, so yeah, like you said, um, you know, I, I've thrived in that role before, so it's not it's not nothing new to me. This is one of the, this one is for either of you. Um, do you guys think that this is going to be the rock bottom moment at this point? Do you think this is going to be the you know the I guess the, the the climax of these struggles, or do you think you guys still have like ways to go on that? Um, I think this is this will be the turning point for us. I mean, feeling like this um, for the last two weeks, um, it's a lot, and. Uh, um, you know, every good team, I mean, if you want to look back at last year, the team who won the national championship, they went, um, they lost six games in a row in the Big East. And, and they were able to um, weather that storm and win a national championship. So um, I think we'll grow from this. I really do. Um, and at least today, I feel like we fought. Um, uh, we we gave we gave it everything. We made a couple late mistakes that cost us the game, but for the most part, um, you know, guys were were out there fighting. Uh, it's for either either guy. Uh, Penny said that uh, he doesn't feel like there is any sort of disconnect between him and you guys. How do y'all feel? He says he's been trying for this, you know, how, however long to find the right combination of words to say to you guys to, to sort of either snap you out of it or um, stop this, the, the, the sort of backward slide here. Um, how, how do you guys feel about uh, your, the dynamic between you guys and Penny right now? There's no disconnect between us and Coach. Um, like I said before, like this is this is on us. This is on the players. Um, we got a veteran group. We should be able to be able to talk to each other on the floor and not have a negative reaction. Um, I mean, we're old enough, mature enough. That shouldn't be a problem. And uh, you know, this isn't on P at all. I really, I really think Coach Coach Penny had us prepared the last two weeks for these games, and we dropped the ball to players. Um, 
So it's time we look ourselves in the mirror and take responsibility because it's not on coach.